Hello, and welcome to the fourth episode of Are You Smaller Than a Great School Genealogist, sponsored by ThinkGenealogy.com. This is episode one, an introduction to DNA. Hello, I'm Nathan, a fourth grader from Arizona, and this is a project about DNA. But first, a little pop quiz. See how much you already know. What is DNA sort for? What are the four types of DNA? Where is DNA located? How is DNA passed from generation to generation? This is a pedigree chart. This is now going to be enhanced by DNA. Sort for deoxy ribonucleic acid. DNA is simply the blueprint for our cells. Where is DNA located? It is located inside the nucleus and the mitochondria. The mitochondria is the power plant for your cell, so to speak. It contains mtDNA. The nucleus is the control center for your cell. It contains DNA in the form of chromosomes like these. There are two types of chromosomes. The autosomal chromosomes, which make up the majority of the chromosomes, and we'll talk about later, and the sex chromosomes, the X and the Y. So, how do these sex chromosomes work? The Y chromosome here is passed from father to son and contains the surname line. DNA information. It does not get easily fragmented throughout the generations as as one of two DNA tests that you can take. X chromosome DNA is passed from mother to children and father to daughter. So how does the X and Y work? Well, the mother can only give off an X, since she only has since she only has X's, but the father can give off X or Y. If the father gives off a Y, the child is a boy. If the father gives off an X, the child is a girl. It's that simple. Our somal DNA is passed from parents to children and contains information about physical traits like dexterity or eye color or hair color. Mitochondrial DNA is passed from mother to children and is now the most popular DNA test. It traces the material line, and also, like Y chromosome DNA, does not get easily fragmented at the generations. Now, this video is based on a science fair project that I did. I ended up getting second place for it, and this is basically what this film was made out of. So now, by now, you should have come to the conclusion. So, are you smarter than a grade school genealogist?